sleeping in until 8.45. Fantastic. She told the mother boy, step aside. Well, she let me off to the dance floor. I followed her left to right. Yeah, I followed her left to right. I told these other girls, step aside. From the moment she caught my eye. It's now 9.04. I'm going to get up and make myself some pancakes while looking over... I do the thing where I sleep with my sides underneath my pillow to try to like, you know, think about it while I sleep. So I'm gonna read through these and prepare them and all that jazz while I'm making pancakes. So I've made pancakes, I've eaten the pancakes, I've memorized my sides, um, so I'm kind of just going over them every once in a while. I'm gonna fold the laundry that I didn't fold yesterday while I continue to go over my sides. It is 10.47, so I will be leaving here in about an hour for my audition. Um, I'm super nervous, but I'm super excited. Um, I'm just especially nervous because it's like a more like emotional role and like, or it's emotional set of sides, even though it's in like, like it is a drama, but like, it's not like that type of drama. Like it's not like a drama drama. There's chocolate on my face. What a shocker. Um, anyway, um, but yeah, so that's a fun time. Um, but I'm just like, not to say I can't believe I got a callback, but I really can't believe I got a callback. <laughs> like, because even when I did my audition, um, cause they had me do each person like, or each character a few different ways. And I'm pretty sure it was the character of Jenny that I forgot. And one of the times I did it, I forgot the line and I felt so bad, but then thankfully like, like I did it more than once. So it wasn't like the only time I did it, I forgot the line. Um, but I'm hoping that won't happen this time. Um, I am really hoping to, I was talking to my mom last night on the phone. What I'm hoping they'll do for these callbacks, which half of me is not thinking they'll do it, but I'd love to do it, is if they bring a group of us in, like for someone reading for Melissa, someone reading for Alex, and someone reading for Jenny, and if we can all like do the scene together, like that would be really cool, but I don't know if they're gonna do that. So who knows? It's about 11.30. I am about to head out to head to my callback. I'm so nervous, but so excited. So let's hope it goes well. So even though there's a ton of people around me right now, it's beautiful outside, so I'm gonna vlog here and tell you about the crazy experience I just had with the bus system. So anyway, I got on the first bus, which was fine, made it to the second bus stop, which was fine, and I could either get on the 14 or the four bus. So I was gonna get on the four bus, but it was stopping before UBC, so I got off the bus quickly and I said, never mind, I'm gonna take the 14 bus. Waited for the 14 bus. The 14 bus was a little bit late, but it was fine, finally got there. Got on the 14 bus, was riding the 14 bus, and then at one stop, we just stopped, and we weren't, like, moving. And then the guy, the, the driver, got on the, the thing, and he was like, hey, just want to let everyone know, if you're going to UBC, get off here and take the 99 bus, because we're not going to UBC fully. Like, they had just gotten word that they weren't doing that. And I was like, ooh, thanks. So pretty much all of us got off the bus. So at this point, I'm panicking, because I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm like 14 minutes away, like, via transit from the school, and it was like almost 12.30, and I was like, oh my god. I don't want to, I don't want to be late. Um, so the 99 bus finally came, got on that, got to UBC, was fast walk, the fastest walk I've ever done in my life to get to the building. And it was a longer walk than I anticipated because I thought I was going the same way, but then it didn't. But anyway, I made it with like two minutes to spare. It was fine. But when I got there, the door was locked and I was like, oh, like what? So I knocked on the door, someone answered. I went in halfway out of breath sat down um they went into the room and then called me in like 10 seconds later so i was like didn't have any time to look over the lines which i looked over so it was fine um so i went in i did the audition and then they called another actress in to play the other part so we read together so we did the scene twice together she was really great um and then i think it's a good sign because they asked me if i was available the 9th and 10th of november which is the shooting dates and i said yes so I'm crossing my fingers. Um, I think that's a good sign. Uh, but either way, it was just really, really awesome to be called back for the first thing I auditioned for here. That was just crazy. Um, so I'm gonna find the bus station now and have a much more relaxing bus ride back. I, su I have successfully made it back to my apartment. Um, originally, I was gonna have a little bit of trouble with it because I was supposed to take the 14 bus but the 14 bus is the one that I was on and then they told us to get off and go on the other bus because for some reason it's not going to UBC today. So I actually stopped um, at one of the restaurants that's right there on campus, it was a pizza place. 
And the pizza was good. I'm just, you know, it was somewhere new that I'd never tried before. And now my brain is like, but what if you get food poisoning? And I'm like, there was literally, no, it, the pizza was fine. Anyway, um, but so Google Maps took a little bit to like find me the route I needed to take back. So, but anyway, I made it all as well. Um, it's about 2.30, it's 2.35. I am, my biggest thing for today is doing the third draft of my script which is my final draft for my short script. So I'm gonna get right on that so I don't get distracted. Well, let's be honest, I'm gonna be distracted, but so I can be less distracted. Um, and I'm gonna read over the notes again that I got and, and figure out what I wanna change before I start changing it. So, you know. It is 5.17. Someone upstairs is practicing the flute. They sound pretty good. Um, I finished my third draft. Um, it was recommended that I change the title to like not give away what happens in the script because originally it was madness wears a mask which i really like the title but i changed it to the recipe for retribution so like that also kind of gives it away but i just couldn't come up with anything else so but i like this one too um so anyway i've actually sent it to two of my classmates and asked them to give me some feedback on it um and so hopefully they like it and so i think one of them is going to look at it tomorrow and i don't know when the other one's going to take a look at it but um if it probably gets to be like the end of tomorrow, I'll probably just submit it because like, but at least I have it done. Um, yeah, so I'm feeling, you know, accomplished, but the, the thing I need to do right now is fold laundry because it is still sitting in the dryer. Well, it's only 6.40, but I'm gonna change into my pajamas so I can throw the clothes I'm currently wearing in the washer while I fold the other clothes and then I'm probably just gonna watch Shadowhunters. Sounds like an awesome plan to me. And then I finished my schoolwork. As I said, I finished the third draft. I also just finished looking over the seven pillars assignment for script structure on Tuesday. And I just turned that in. So like until the, the people get back to me about um, if any changes, if they think I should make any changes to my third draft, like I'm done like with schoolwork for right now. Like I don't need to do anything else, which is really cool. So. Whoever wrote this episode did a really bad job at this one part. It's so bad. <laughs> well, I watched episodes two and three of season three A of Shadow Hunter, so now I'm up to episode. Well, my next one will be episode four. I will say they're lacking on the endings for these for some reason. Um, just like the endings aren't like oh my gosh like cliffhangers, but the one for episode three, I was like, oh, <laughs> something happened that I did not see coming, and I was like. Like, the identity of someone was revealed, and I was like, oh my god. Like, I wasn't expecting that, so they did really well on that one. Um, but I'm gonna head to bed, because it is 11.02, and I'm getting up for church tomorrow. So, um, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. All my social media is in the description. Love you all.